What's up guys? Learning with Rich here. In this video, let's continue our discussion about uh, Revit Mechanical Certification Preparation. Okay, so this topic is continuation for the documentation topic. So this time, we are going to learn how to create views of various uh, types. Okay, so the first view that we are going to create is a uh, section. Okay, so let's create a section. So to create a section view, you can go to the view tab and then from the create panel, you can see here your section. Section tool can also found here on our quick access toolbar. Okay, so you can click the section and you just need to place the first point of your section. So let's say I want to create a section uh, for this one. So I'm going to pick first point here and then I'm going to pick second point here That's it Okay, and then you can control your section by adjusting your arrow here so you can drag that to adjust your section and You can also flip that to the other side. You can click that as you can see it's now flipped to the other side and if you want you can also cycle the section head here so you can click that icon click that and it will change to a different uh, section head so you can click that if you want to remove or click again and also to the other side if you want to have both the section head you just need to click that continuously until you see your preferred uh, icon so you can adjust that head and then you can also adjust the view here okay the view range okay of our section and you can also adjust from here so aside from that if you do not if you want to uh, to make your section tidier without overlapping some of the elements you can click that icon to create a gap so you can click that and then maybe you can just put it here and then you can just drag that again and then put it somewhere here like that okay so that's your section and if you're going to hover your pointer to the section like that it will tell you what's the name of that so you can find that in the views section and then the name is section one so let's look for that so it's here on our question mark here so that's the section so that's the section one that we just created. So the reason why there is a question mark here, it's because the subdiscipline is not defined. So if I'm going to check the properties here, you will notice that the subdiscipline is not defined there. Subdiscipline. Oh, sorry. For this one. So I select the section one and then let's check the properties of that. And then you can see the subdiscipline is not defined so that's why you can see question mark so let me adjust my properties i'm gonna move that window and then place it here on my left side okay this allows me to dock it doesn't allows me to dock anyway so let me just combine it again probably it's because i'm using a dual uh monitor anyway so if i'm going to add here a sub discipline like i i put that on a hvac so i select here apply if i go to the properties or uh, to the project browser it's now here there you go so that's now my section so we can double click that to open okay so that's how you create your section so very simple you just need to click two points same with creation of your call out okay so going back to my ground floor hvac plan so i'm going to create a call out okay so it creates a rectangular call out in the view so usually we use this for a detailing if you want to isolate a specific portion of the model geometry to show a greater level of detail or the detailing of your view you can use a call out so i can select the call out here again i can pick two points so let's say i want to create a separate view of this so i'm going to pick the first point here and then i'm going to pick the second point here and there you go so i can click again the call out and then i can adjust 
the location of that and then I just click outside okay so again you just hover your pointer you can see the name it's ground floor HVAC plan call out one which is this one here okay just double click that or you can also double click the call out head to open up the call out and there you go okay so that's your call out so the next view that you can create here is elevation okay so let's go back to our HVAC plan double click that and then let's create an elevation so I'm gonna select elevation here click that one you can also go to the properties if you have different types of elevation you can click the type selector here and then you'll be able to select it in this exercise I only have one type of elevation so let's say I'll use my building elevation so I want to create an elevation from the north okay so right now it's pointing to the uh, to the left side okay so let's say I want that to be point here on the uh, lower portion like in north elevation so you just need to move your pointer like that until you see it's pointing down and then you can now click to place your elevation and then select modify okay so I can select the section at uh, the elevation and then I can move it here and then I can click this uh, point here this arrow here the triangle so you can click that one and then you'll be able to see here the range of your elevation you see this one okay so let's say I'm going I'm just gonna adjust that I want to adjust that up to here like that so you can do that in your elevation just like your section and then again if you want to open your elevation it's either you need to know first what is the name of that elevation by hovering your pointer to the triangle as you can see the name is elevation 1-a so you need to look that view from the project browser again I suspect it's here on our question mark and there you go so there's our 1-a or another way to open the elevation is by double clicking the arrow uh, position of your elevation the arrow shape one okay so just click that double click and then it will open now the elevation view okay so another view that you can create is a uh, plan view okay so let's create a plan view so let's say uh, you want to create another ground floor HVAC plan okay so let's say you want to do another detailing or for some reason you want to have another ground floor HVAC plan so let's create a plan view so from the view tab create panel you see there's a plan view so you can click the drop down arrow and here you'll be able to see different options to create a plan view and one of them is floor plan so if you want to create reflected ceiling plan so you can select that one if you want to create a structural plan you can click this or if you want to create area plan you can click this one okay so let me just uh, double click my ground floor HBAC plan and then let's go back again to plan view as you can see now plan region here is now enabled because a while ago we are on elevation view that's why here you can select the plan region so that's why I open again the ground floor HVAC plan so if ever you want to create a plan region okay you can do that if you are going to open a plan view okay that for this one I'm just going to create a floor plan for your exercise you can try creating reflected ceiling plan structural plan plan region and area plan if you want to know the definition you just need to hover your pointer it will tell you what's that and it will tell you the detail uh, definition of that and how are you going to create it it's very simple okay so now I'll create a floor plan and then I want to create a copy of ground floor plan but the problem is it's not here okay so that's why I'm going to uncheck this one uncheck do not duplicate existing view so if I check this one it will show me again the other views and let's say I want to create another ground floor so I can select ground floor and then I select here okay and there you go so there's now my ground floor 
Okay, so it's up to you. How do you want to call this one? But this is your ground floor level uh, floor plan. Okay, so that's how you create. So another way, it's let's say you, you are now on the detailing. So another way of creating detail, uh, detail view aside from creating call out, aside from creating section, you can also create a drafting view. Okay, so drafting view can be found here on our, uh, here, it's still on our create. So that's your drafting view. So drafting view, it creates a view showing details that are not directly associated with the building model. So that means drafting view, that is only a 2D drawing, okay? So you are going to do it manually. It's either you import an AutoCAD drawing, 2D drawing, or you create it manually by using uh, annotate tools here. By using these tools, these are just a 2D elements. So th these are the tools that you use to create your drafting view. So again, drafting view, we use this as a detailing. It's not directly associated with the BIM model. So meaning any changes that you made on the BIM model or your 3D model, it will not affect your drafting view and vice versa. Okay, so we use this tool to create an associated view specific details at differing view scales. Okay, so let's try to create drafting view. So let's click that one. You can specify the name here. You can specify the scale here and then just select OK. Okay, so where is my drafting view? now so my drafting view property so that's my drafting view property there so let's check the project browser where's my drafting view is it here coordination coordination drafting view there you go so there's my drafting view again the reason why it's question uh, questionable there's a question mark it's because for drafting view one, the subdiscipline is not uh, defined. Okay, so the subdiscipline here is blank. So it, if I put that under HVAC, and then I select apply. If I check the project browser, it's now here. There you go. Okay, so as you can see, my uh, drafting view here is blank because you are supposed to create it uh, manually. By using the annotate tools, you can create detail lines and then you can add dimension, uh, region or field region, components, insulation, revision cloud. Okay, so these tools, 2D elements, or if you have a CAD drawing, you can import it here on your drafting view. Okay, so that's it for this one, for the drafting view. So hopefully you get the idea of the drafting view. And then another way to create a view is by duplicating the view. So let's say, for example, I have my ground floor HVAC plan here. So aside from creating a plan view for your ground floor HVAC plan, you can also duplicate. Okay, so duplicate, you can right click and then you can select here duplicate. Okay, and then you have three options here. So duplicate. So duplicate simply duplicates the views, whereas uh, duplicate with detailing also duplicates the view specific elements like uh, tags. So aside from the uh, building model, it will also duplicate the annotation. Okay, so duplicate as a dependent is useful for large plan views that needs to be broken into smaller areas. So dependent views will always have the same view settings with the parent view. So if I select here duplicate, okay, so that's the duplicate. So here's the original. Okay, so here's the original model. So I'm just going to undo this. So let's say for the original view, I'm going to put some dimension. So I'm going to select that and then I'll just put dimension. So let's say here, here just for the sake of this exercise. So there's my dimension. And then I'm going to duplicate this. So let's right click and duplicate, duplicate only. 
it will only duplicate the building model. As you can see, it doesn't include the annotation here. Now I'm going to right click again and then I'm going to duplicate that, duplicate with detailing. It will include now the annotation. Okay, so the other one is, or the third one is duplicate as a dependent. So right click, duplicate as a dependent. And there you go. So you have your parent view and, and you have your dependent view. Any changes when it comes to the view properties, it will affect also the parent view and vice versa. Okay, so basically these are just some of the uh, tools that you can use to create views. Again, this is part of your examination. So that's why you need to review creation of uh, views with uh, a creation of uh, various types of views all right so hopefully you learned something from this video thank you for watching have a nice day